Hey guys, today's video is going to be ways you can tell if your guinea pig is lonely. Guinea pigs are social animals and they thrive if they have a friend or two, but sometimes there are times where they just don't get along. But here are some ways you can tell if your guinea pigs are lonely. Number 1. They don't eat. A guinea pig's digestive tract has to be constantly moving, and for that to happen, they need to eat hay, and lots of it. If they are losing interest in eating, even their favorite treat, this is very severe and they need to go to the vets immediately. Within 12 to 24 hours, the guinea pig's gut will start shutting down and they will no longer take food into their system, even if they are fed. Another reason why a guinea pig might not be eating is from stress, other illness, or pain. With this said, their water and food intake will reduce, leading to stasis. Number 2. They aren't as active. A guinea pig who is inactive might be depressed. They won't run around nor popcorn, but instead, they'll sleep and eat all day. And this might lead to stasis or being obese. So it's extremely important for a guinea pig to have a friend or two. Number 3. They might beg and always want food. If a guinea pig is always wanting food, and if you give it to them, they might become overweight. A guinea pig might be always begging to be held or wanting attention, although it might not be a bad thing, but if you're away from your guinea pig for a while than usual, it might get worried which might lead to depression without you knowing, and it might go into stasis, and the guinea pig might actually end up dying. Number 4. If a guinea pig's partner passes, then that other guinea pig that's alone might become really depressed and sometimes they might even die so sometimes it's extremely important to go ahead and get another guinea pig for it even though you probably aren't ready it probably is the best bet for the other guinea pig who is depressed and to make it feel better these are four reasons on why you should have a partner for your guinea pig, or at least you have to put their cages together so they can see each other. For anyone who is wondering, both Wrangler and Angel are on their own, and Angel especially has been on her own for the longest. So even though she is alone, I make sure the cages are together so she can see them. And even with her legs, she actually does get around pretty efficiently and she'll end up popcorning with her head because she can't with her whole body and she'll actually do zoomies every once in a while. On the other hand, Wrangler's just a very hormonal boy who just wants girls. He has a view of Angel and he absolutely loves to rumble strut at her and any girl he smells. So that is all I have for you guys in today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe like usual because I really do appreciate the support from everyone. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!